All right, Claudia, Annika, congratulations on the win. Just how does it feel to kind of bounce back after the weekend at Baylor? It feels good. I think there was a lot that happened at Baylor that we weren't super happy about and we were able to get back into the gym and start doing the things that we wanted to see out of ourselves and as a team uh, moving forward. I think today was a really good day of putting those things into play. Like they weren't perfect in any sense right off the bat, um, but I think we're just still trying to find our way back. Um, we always talk about getting 1% better. I think that's something that we did every single set today. Yeah, I would totally agree. Um, just that 1% better, making sure we're working hard in practice and making sure we're working hard every single point of the game as well. So, Annika, congratulations on the set win on leading in digs with 17 right there. Like, more than double like, your, se your season high. Or how, how does it feel? How did it feel to be able to get out there and do that tonight? Um, it was good. Um, I tried to just read the court and support my teammates, um, you know, making sure we get a good ball for the setter so we can get a good kill and get points. Claudia, you guys, you, you ladies ended up almost getting three kills a set at got at eleven right there. Abby on, on fire, on fire as well with six block block assists. Just what did you really like about the team's blocking scheme tonight? I think we were doing a really good job. We had a plan going into practice this week, and I think their roster changed a little bit more than we were expecting um, on game start time. But I think that was something that we didn't we didn't change what we were going to do because we're like the tendencies are still there. So let's just be solid. Let's you know, press, let's be low, and let's get good touches. Like, we're not a huge blocking team, according to our stats in the Big 12, but I think that's due more to the fact that we get good touches, and that's kind of more of a goal of, like, let's slow down hitters. Getting blocks is great, and of course, that's what you want to be doing, but slowing them down can be even more frustrating for a hitter. So I think we did a really good job of that tonight on both set, on both ends. The blocking ended up being a strength against Baylor last week. What did you see from them and from their blockers that you noticed? And then maybe what could you maybe learn from that coming into this week? I think they were a little bit, of course, like being in a bigger conference now this year of in the American, we didn't see as many like tall blockers. I think Baylor provided a pretty solid front um, in all rotations. I think that was something that we had to get used to. We have been working really hard on working hands a lot and in system and out of system balls. Um, Again, not going to be perfect, so we are going to end up hitting someone to the block, but I think we're continuing to do a really good job of working and using that block as well. Another, another new face came out and set a career season high for herself, Brett Carlson coming in right there. Your coach was talking about how she, how she really helped with you guys as far as the blocking goes. So for both of you, what's it been like working with Britt and just what did you really like out of her game today? Um, Britt is a really fierce player. Um, I love being on the court with her because the energy energy she brings and um, her block is really solid. She gets her feet there and makes a good press and sets up a good um, block for our defense so we can play around it and it just creates really good flow for our team. Yeah, I think that's something that she's been really committed to as well in the past couple weeks um, that she's always been working on of like continuing to provide a good block um, and she's been doing a really good job of that. So going forward. I noticed one aspect in that Baylor game was that Willie really ended up getting a lot of percentage in attacks in that one game, and then what you did diversify a little bit in the next game. But this one here, you guys kind of got back to kind of that diverse mm -hmm. offense. How big is it for you guys to be able to kind of ma maintain that? Um, a device, diverse offense is really good because it provides um, opportunities for our pins and our middles, and I feel like we have really strong attackers all the way across. Um, and so in order to like create opportunities and one-on-ones it's really good to diversify the offense and it's a really good strength that we have yeah i think that's in my opinion becoming the new face of ucf volleyball if i do have to say so myself is having opportunities and threats on all pins in all areas of the court like if i was scouting us like i wouldn't even know where to start personally um kind of watching some of our previous games of they have threats everywhere and that's something that we take a lot of pride in of making sure that there's opportunities for everyone pulling middles pulling outsides pulling right sides having everyone be able to swing because everyone has those capabilities. So as he mentioned, uh, the loss is against Baylor. Uh, first time in the season losing two in a row, but what was the bounce back game plan like this week? I think it was a short turnaround. Obviously we played Baylor Saturday and Sunday and we only got to get in the gym for two of those days before these games, of course. Um, so it was a short time to come in and stay focused. And I think that was something we wanted to do right away of, hey, we don't have a lot of time to kill. Like we lost two games, you know, it happened, it's over. We did our film, we got through it. I know I personally like, it's therapeutic for me to watch film and it kind of gives me a sense of calmness of like, okay, there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, but going into the week, it's like, okay, how do we get better? Like we still have a ton of season left. Like we can dip our heads and pout or we can rise to the challenge and go get the next games. And I think that's what all of us have on the team is that tenacity to keep moving forward. Yeah, how can um, we step up and make our game better? And I think we came into practice like with like, hey, 
game plan. Like, what are we going to do to better, like, the next game we have? And I think we did that. Lovely. Uh, now, 10-1 and one at home. What is the home court advantage uh, like, and what does the fans bring, like, to the game? I think they bring a lot. I personally have always loved this gym. Um, people might think it's small in comparison to a lot of the other teams that we play in the Big 12, but I think it's a close, compact environment and the voices and everything vertebrate against the walls. So it's like, it's loud, like it will get loud. And I think it is great that our crowd feels us and that's something that we feel and that we continue to go off of. I know one of our previous home games, like we had crowd of all of our crowd up on their feet calling in and out for us. Like, I think that's just a fun thing to see um, our fans get involved as much as in the game as we are um, so. and we have a lot of fans that come like to every game and so that's a really cool experience and I think it's hard for opponents to play in our gym just because as Claudia said like it's really compact so it echoes and there's a lot of energy and then when we bring energy as well it just creates this huge environment yeah. that environment has kind of been evolving over the course of this season as the venue has been undergoing reverb or kind of renovations this time around new light fixtures were there <laughs> and just what was it like on the court kind of uh, experiencing those for the first time yeah, we have a love-hate relationship with the lights currently, yes. um, but they have, of course, been installed weeks ago, so we have been able to play and practice with them for probably a week and a half, two weeks yeah. now, I want to say. Yeah. Um, so we have been getting used to them. They're still not great, but I don't think um, today it affected our game like we thought it was going to in any capacity. Like, they can be annoying, but I think after practicing with them, it's like, okay, like, we're good, actually. Yeah, I'd agree, 100%. Um, after tomorrow's match against TCU, again, the team travels to face number 22, Houston. What is the game plan going to be like for facing them? Um, in terms of our gym, we're just going to reevaluate like after um, this next game and just work on getting 1% better. What can we fix? And um, we do a really good job uh, making sure we go in with a game plan against Houston. And so we're going to do that and we're going to stick to it and we're going to work on it and um, practice it. And then that'll help us lead into the weekend. Yep think business for sure is take care of tomorrow um, and then start game pre prepping for next week. Houston, of course, is an opponent that we have faced multiple times in past years. Um, like Cincinnati, like we know them, they know us. It's just something that they have a little bit more edge, I guess you could say, on us compared to the new teams that we've been playing in the conference. Um, but I mean, we're riled up. Like I think that's a game that we always get super excited for as we've been competing for championships with them for the past five, six, however many years. So um, it'll be it'll be a fun game, but tomorrow's the main focus first. <laughs> What's the last question? What do you want to take with you from tonight's game into uh, tomorrow? And what's the biggest thing you maybe you learned from the Baylor match that you've taken with you into this weekend? Um, one thing I think is like tenacity and just the grit, and how can we make sure that we're like making this play the best it can be. Um, focusing on what we can control and keeping our energy up even in the low moments, and just taking care of first ball. I think she hit on the good thing of like controlling what we can control. Like there's a lot of things that happen in the game that can be out of your control, like calling calls that refs make, things that coaches do, like whatever the case may be. Um, I think we saw in the first set that a lot of their points they were getting were our errors and that's something that we can control. So I think understanding of like, hey, like that's not quite our game. Like they were getting a lot of points because of our errors. Like that we need that to be reversed. We want to get points off theirs and we want to be creating points. Um, I think we saw that a little bit in Baylor too, of whether we were trying for too much or we were just swinging, hoping that we'd get a point and they would just be right there to dig us. But it's controlling the controllables for sure. All right, awesome. Well, best of luck, ladies. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you.